Christian loves his technology. Everything in this house has automatic switches, controls and features. He's even built this electric cart. But one system deep within the garage has transformed the use of power for both him and his wife. We're back in Belgium in the town of villers la ville just south of Brussels. Christian and wife Dominique have lived in this property for 35 years and having completed much of the work on the house themselves, Christian's now decided to go even further by making his home self-sufficient and future-proof. But yes, I've been thinking about it for a long time, and I had already tried a lot of small things, with a simple battery, a simple regulator, a simple solar panel, so I could, for one, understand that it can be done. In other words, to see if I could draw power only from the sun, and it works just fine. The couple's long-held dreams of installing an off-grid system were motivated by their desire to become as sustainable as this Victron energy system will allow, which turns out to be very sustainable indeed. We have to try to do something for the planet. That's what I try to do, in a way, and what everyone else is trying to do. Christian looked at products from other off-grid manufacturers before his research drew him to look at Victron Energy's range of inverters, solar charge controllers and communication modules, at which point he knew his search was over. Well, there was a company in France called AZ Energies that I came across on the internet, and they were selling kits and all that. I didn't really know Victron at the time, so I worked with one first and then the other. And based on that, I saw that Victron offered a lot more possibilities with their product, so I carried on with that in mind. And that's why I now only work with this brand. The solution I wanted was to find something that had all the features I wanted, and, so far, I've only found Victron. I'm not saying that there aren't other upcoming products that won't do this. I'm interested in this product, and I know that, in terms of quality, this is the one I'll be picking. Victron has a direct focus on autonomy without having to rely on the grid. And that's what did it for me. And when I check things out around me in terms of installations, I can already see the problems that are setting in. And now I'm thinking there's something about Victron that's much better. And that's why the brand does it for me. Christian's journey to Victron Energy started with a basic test setup comprising of one Victron Energy inverter and two third-party charge controllers. So I tested this and stuck with it for several months. And I found the system worked so well that I thought to myself, I'm not going to leave it at that. Because it was, in fact, a backup system that could make the fridge, the computer and a couple of little things that don't draw too much power run, because the power I had was only 2,400 watts. It wasn't enough for me. So I thought, I want to change my system and be 100% autonomous, and I don't want a backup system. So, if I really need grid power, all I have to do is program the Victron inverter and have it draw power from the grid when the batteries drop below 40%, and that's it, and it works really well. This area of Belgium can experience blackouts, so having a backup domestic system is a good strategy to have. But despite utilising a power-hungry 200-litre boiler at the property, Christian was keen to go fully off-grid. Here, the boiler is programmed to switch on, which is no longer the case. Before, when we were on the grid, we had a night meter and a day meter. But now, to take advantage of the sun, the boiler is programmed to run from 9 to 11 a.m. and not from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. I don't turn it on during this period because we usually eat at noon and the kitchen, when I use it, draws a lot of power. So I avoid having both on at the same time. 
So if the boiler is not full over this period in the morning, I turn it on from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. so that it fills up and we can have hot water for the whole house without a problem, even during the day. Because the 200 litre boiler lasts for several days, with a shower a day, without having to reheat the water. So how has Christian upgraded from that initial basic system? Well, he's now installed 36 solar panels on the property's roof, linked to three Victron Energy MPPTs. The house power is via three 5 kVA Multi Plus 2s in a three-phase configuration, feeding 12 Pylon Tech US 3000C batteries within three 19-inch racks. As is required by Belgian law, Christian has had all of his work on the installation checked by a qualified electrician, though he soon realised that even the electrician's knowledge was not as good as his own. And it's all been working brilliantly. So I went for this power because I went for smaller amounts before and I thought it wasn't enough. So I took three 5000 watt inverters, but we have a 0.8 cos theta so we only have a 4000 watt output. So while programming the parameters, I set it to 3990 watts. If ever this level is exceeded, I have it connect to the grid. Because if it's not connected to the grid, the inverter is likely to run into overheating problems. I know that inverters can peak at up to 9000 watts in a matter of seconds. To avoid this, it draws from the grid at 3900 watts, since that's the power this inverter can deliver. I could have used more power, but in a family home, like mine, it's more than enough. What I'm simply doing is that in summer, I'd say that between 12 and 16 solar panels are more than enough to get by, because the days are much longer. And back there, I have switches I can turn off during the summer, because I don't need these panels to work, and I can turn them back on in winter. Here, everything is switched manually, but the other installations I've done can be operated using your phone. You can monitor production from a distance, especially in summer, and think, well, I can switch off these solar panels here. But with Victron, there's no need to switch back to the grid. If ever the batteries are a little too low, they are programmed to automatically connect to the grid, should I need power when they drop below 40%. I'd rather spend a bit of money on this than on a car that's going to cost between 35 and 40,000 euros and that we're going to use for an hour a day. So it's true it's a bit more expensive, but at least it's profitable because we've got something that'll last 15 years for the batteries and 30 years when it comes to Victron products. And their investment in their new Victron energy system is already paying off for the couple's outgoing costs, quality of life and peace of mind. Well, as far as I'm concerned, if you break a Victron product, the person setting up the system is to blame. When there's a problem on the grid and there's no power, I'm glad to still be able to cook myself a hot meal in the evening. His own installation has been so impressive to friends and family that Christian has now installed Victron Energy Systems to both his sister's and his brother's homes and is ready to help others discover the reliability and efficiency a Victron Energy System can bring to more people's lives. Victron Energy ESS Systems are helping to power homes and businesses all over the world. Our YouTube channel and Facebook pages have lots more examples of how we can positively impact your power needs, however remote or energy reliant. Like this video which shows how a Victron Energy System install has completely transformed the home of a Dutch couple, Bert and Jeanette, allowing for a carefree, fully automated retirement lifestyle, now fully off-grid and self-sufficient. Mm -hmm.